Hi everybody, it's Andrew from Honeycart, and in this video, I'll show you how you can create a proposal that you can then send off to your customers to approve and pay for. We created this feature because we got some feedback that were saying that a lot of times customers do prefer to call in to ask for help on picking out what to order, or they just don't have the time to do it themselves, or it's just better suited to have help, right? So we wanted to make this as simple as possible for you to just kind of just create the order like you would if you were doing it as a staff user and then send that off in an email with a link for them to go and pay for it if they approve it. So the first thing you want to do is just click on the create order button. It's going to be the same exact flow as you are going to, as you would create a normal order. So click on that. Here I am on the new order page. I've already filled out all the, all the information on what the customer wants, who the customer is, etc. And you will notice on this section right here, under the dates and stuff, there is now an option to make this a proposal. It says, is this a proposal? So just click on yes, make it switch over to yes. And now you see that you can set a date that the proposal will expire on. So it defaults to about 48 hours from whenever you're entering in the, uh, the, the order or the proposal. So you can change it to whatever you want to be. Next. For the payment information, a lot of times a new customer won't have a credit card on file, so and they may not want to give you a credit card just to get a proposal, so just choose credit card not provided. And uh, let's say it's an existing customer, you also have the option to choose if they belong to a corporate or a house account, if they want to bill towards that, or if you if you don't mind them paying cash check, whatever. But for this demo we're just going to leave it as credit card is not provided and click on save and what you're going to notice is that we also have this status here that the proposal has not been sent yet so i want to send the proposal by clicking that button and the customer's information is going to be pre uh, the email is preloaded here so just click send and now you see it gets changed to sent. And I will now pull up the proposal email that they get. So you can see what that looks like. One second. So here's the email. You can, it's just like any other template, email template in Honeycart. You can customize the subject. You can customize the email body from like here to here. And you'll notice now that there's a link for them to click on to accept and pay. So once the customer clicks that, they'll be able to go to a page and enter a credit card information. One second. So this is what the customer is going to see. Now, if they were an existing customer, they could click on this sign in link. And once they sign in, this is going to change and load in all their pre-saved credit card information that they can choose from. But here I'm going to pretend I'm a new customer and I have a fake credit card that I always use for these videos. And I'm going to just fill it out real quick. And this is the same policy message they would see on your, your normal checkout. We just show it here again because if it's you know, it got the same policy, they, they're going to want to know when the card is going to be charged. So just click on Accept Proposal. It's going to add this credit card to their account. And it's going to change the proposal into an actual order. One second while this thing is finishing up. So... You see that it's been changed to a real order. This is the event date, all that stuff. So I'm going to go back to my, you know, my admin, my staff account right here. Uh, refresh it. And now you see that instead of being a proposal, it is now a new order, which also means you're going to get all those email confirmations that come in when you get a new order. So that's about it. If you have any questions, please let us know at info at gethoneycard.com. Thanks.